In this video we are going to continue along with global objects and again those are objects that JavaScript supplies for us and what does that mean? We can use that global objects methods and properties. So in this video we're going to look at the math object. So I've created a variable here called number and it's going to store a value of 4.7. So let's create a new variable to work against this number. So we'll call that number new number and we'll create a new value. So we'll add 26 plus, and here is where we can use the math object. And actually we can just call the math object by name. So we'll say math, and the method that we're going to use is the round method. And we're going to round our number variable, which we declared up here. So what the round method does is it will round it to the nearest integer. Since 4.7 is closest to 5, it will round it to 5. Now if it was 4.4, it would round it down to 4. So it's not going in any particular direction. I guess that's the point I want to make. It will round it to the nearest closest integer, which in this case again is 5. So we should get an output of 31. So let's go ahead and run this and you can see we got 31. Now let's just set this to 4.3 or something and you will see now it will round it down to 4 and we should get an output of 30. So let's go ahead and run this again and you can see we got 30. Now, what if you wanted to go in one particular direction? Let's say we wanted to round this up to 5. Well, we can use another method and that is the ceiling method. So we just put in C-E-I-L, and now this should round it up to 5. So let's go ahead and run this again. And you can see we got 31, which is what we expected, because it rounded it to 5, of course. Now let's set this back to 4.7, and let's say now we wanted to round this down to 4. We could use the floor method, and that will always round the number down. So let's go ahead and run this, and we should get an output of 30. And we did. Now I want to show you the square root method. So let's go ahead and just get rid of this variable. And let's change the value of our number variable. So let's actually specify our math object again. And we're going to call the square root method, which is SQRT. Now let's pass in a value of 16. And so now, as you probably know, the square root of 16 is 4. And hopefully that's the output we get. So let's go ahead and run this. Oops, no, we need to actually uh, set this back to the old variable because we are not using the new number variable anymore. And let's go ahead and run this. And you can see we got the expected result of 4. Okay, so that's going to wrap it up for this video. In the next video, we'll look at another global object, the date object.